This is a chest from the new game The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made it, and set it up to open with the wave of your hand, just like in the game. We are going to go over how the electronics work, how I created the base for the chest, and the process I went through to decorate it. And if you stick around till the end, you'll get to see the secret I'm keeping inside. As always on Make It For Less, my goal is to make it for the lowest possible cost, so you can follow along at home and make it yourself. With that out of the way, let's get into it. To start, I made a list of goals that I wanted to achieve. They are as follows. Number one, make the chest open without touching it in any way. Number two, play the chest opening music from the game. And number three, make the chest pop open like it does in the game. In order to do all of this, I decided to use an Arduino Nano to control the whole thing. The Nano was something called a microcontroller. A microcontroller is basically just a tiny computer that we can program and that can receive inputs and activate outputs. For my input, I decided to use an RFID reader and tag. If you have to badge in at work or at school, then you're already familiar with these. All you have to do is approach the reader with an RFID card or tag, and it will read it and decide if you are allowed in somewhere. This checks off our first requirement, as you don't have to actually touch anything to get the RFID reader to work. You just have to get close. And, as an added bonus, this makes our box more secure, since the system can be programmed to only allow access with a certain card or fob. With that figured out, we can move on to our second requirement, which is playing the chest opening music. After looking around for a bit, I settled on using a piezo buzzer. Now only playing one note at a time might sound like a problem, but it can still achieve things like this, and, more importantly for this project, this. With the piezo buzzer working, we can check the second item off of our list. The last requirement we need to figure out is how to get the box to pop open. My first thought was to use something called a servo to open the lid. A servo is basically a small motor that the Arduino Nano we are using can tell to move to a certain position. They are great for moving things to the same position repeatedly, and also for reminding people they can like and subscribe. Unfortunately, the thing that servos are not good at is quick popping motion like the chest needs. I was stuck on this issue for a while, until one day I was clicking a pen and realized the solution to the problem. If I need something to spring open, what better way to do that than with a spring? I decided that I would still use the servo, but just to hold a catch on the lid. When it's time for the chest to open, I just move the servo and... the springs take care of the rest. With a solution for all of the requirements I had, the only thing left to do was enter coding mode and get everything working together. This is the result. All of the parts work together, and when the correct RFID tag gets close to the reader, we get the chest music and the servo moves to release the catch. My code, as well as a wiring diagram for setting everything up, are available on GitLab from the link in the description. With the electronics sorted, my next problem was figuring out how to contain the whole thing. I decided the easiest thing was to 3D print it. When I tried to find a model of the chest online, I couldn't find what I was looking for. I then tried modeling the chest myself, but my skills are not quite at that level. What my skills would allow for, however, is creating a basic box with a lid, a catch, and a place to put my springs. In my model, I also put these flat parts on the back side of the lid, so that I could attach hinges later. With all of that modeled, I sent everything over to my 3D printer. With the parts printed, I was able to glue my springs and hinges in place and had a blank canvas to work off of. Unfortunately, I am not an artist, but thankfully, my girlfriend is, and she helped me out and modeled the features from the chest in the game with clay. Once that was done, the only thing I had to do was paint it and get the electronics inside. Everything was already wired up, so all I had to do was make a spot to pass through the USB cable and get everything secured. And here is the final product. I think it came out looking good, and is not too far off from the chest in the game. I really like the look of the pop when the chest opens. And, as promised, for those of you who stayed till the end, I'll show you the secret I have inside. It's another Make It For Less video for you to watch! I hope you enjoyed this one, and try making one yourself. 
Have a good one, and I'll see you next time on Make It For Less.